Well, good morning, Scouters Mountain students and families. Great to see you on this Wednesday. Wednesday, October 7th, one of those lighter days for you as far as school goes, where it's a lot of recorded lessons. But for your teachers today, they are doing some trainings. That's where I've been this morning. That's why the morning messages are coming up a little late today. But it is great to see you. And I always love hearing from you. A lot of great submissions today for the morning messages. We'll get through all of those on Wednesday, October 7th. And remember, this is the last morning messages of the week because Friday, there is no school. Now, I know you're a little sad about that. Wipe your tears. But there is no school on Friday. That's a statewide in-service day. That means teachers will be taking some trainings on that day. There will not be any school. So this is our last morning messages of the week, which means your challenge will last all the way from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday until Monday. You'll have at least four days to do the challenge that comes from this morning messages. So, Mr. Long, what do we need to know today? Well, let me tell you what we need to know today. October Filipino American History Month. You guys are doing great on that. We've had people pointing out the Philippines, and then we learned a culture of the Filipinos, and that is Pagmamano. And we had lots of people who sent in pictures and or videos of that practicing Pagmamano. And we have many Filipino Americans within our school. And remember, Pagmamano was when you take someone older than you and you place the top of their hand on your forehead to try to gain their knowledge and give you a blessing. So we'll get to those pictures coming in. A lot of people submitted those. I was very proud to receive lots of those. As I said before, remember, no school this Friday on October 9th. So I know you're a little sad about that, but no school Friday, which means there will not be a morning message on Friday the 9th. Thanks to all the families who ordered Kona Ice. That was last Thursday and Monday. We were sold out the entire time. I was going back and forth across the neighborhood in the Kona Ice truck all evening Thursday and all evening Monday. We made over a thousand dollars worth worth of sales. So great job to all our families who participated in that. Thank you for participating. If you didn't get a chance to order, order a Kona Ice treat, we'll try to do that again a little bit later on. Maybe once a month or so. We'll try to get to that in November since we've done it now in October. But thanks for ordering all of those. Other things we need to know you are doing a super job logging into PE, music, and counseling. Remember, Mrs. Bell has her own Google Classroom now for each grade level. It used to be K-1 and 2, 3, and 4, 5. Now kindergarten has their own, first grade has their own, and so on. Great job logging into those. Now, you may be wondering, how many times are we supposed to do that? Well, just as if it were regular school, if you were in the building, you would go to PE twice a week, you would go to music twice a week, and you would go to what normally would be health and wellness once a week, but this year... It's the counseling Google Classroom once a week. So make sure to log into those. You're doing a great job of those. I know Mr. Harrison and Mrs. Carter are getting lots of feedback. And a lot of you are leaving messages saying how much you enjoyed the lessons. I know they appreciate that. And it's always fun for me to log in and see who's been in there. So keep up that great work. Today would be a good day to log into those classrooms as well. Thanks for tuning into the assemblies last Friday. Wasn't that fun? Your prizes, if your name was drawn... It's coming in the mail. I mailed them all off earlier this week, so it takes a little while to get the stamps put on those and sent out in the mail. But if you had your name drawn with a prize, or if you're celebrating a birthday this week, you should be getting something in the mail. All of those should be coming. I'm hoping you get them today or tomorrow. We'll see. All those prizes coming in the mail. But you guys did a great job of tuning into the assemblies and muting your microphones when you were supposed to. It was really a lot of fun to see so many of you in the different assemblies We'll do that again at the end of October. We'll have another Spirit Day and another Friday Howl Assembly. If you have any questions or you just want to share something with me, and a lot of you do this now, I always love hearing from you. You can always email me for sure. You know how to get a hold of me by now. There's the email address right there, longc at nclac.k12.or.us. Sometimes kids or families have a question for me. Sometimes they just want to share something that's really cool that happened at home. Sometimes they want to send me a picture Always love hearing from you, and I promise I will write back as well. There's the best way to get a hold of me with that email address. All right. Who was celebrating a birthday this week? Well, Emma Jones already had hers yesterday. Happy birthday, Emma, along with Ella Lucci. Both of them had birthdays yesterday. Emma in fifth grade, fifth grade, Ella in first grade. No birthdays today, but tomorrow our two Nathans are celebrating a birthday. Nathan Wynn in fourth grade, Nathan Coronado in fifth grade. Well, actually, Nathan's is not until Friday, but happy birthday to all of them. So Nathan tomorrow, Nathan Coronado on Friday, 
And then Colton on Sunday. Happy birthday to all of you guys who are celebrating a birthday this week. Again, you should be receiving something in the mail, a little note for me to say happy birthday along with a little special prize in there. You'll get that in the mail this week. So look out for that in your mailboxes. But happy birthday to all of those kids celebrating a birthday this week. All right. Remember the last challenge I gave you, and it's kind of a long one, and it has to go with Filipino American Heritage Month. Filipinos, they're known as very respectful people. They have a culture of pagmamano, okay, pagmamano, sorry, pagmamano, where they place the backs of older family members' hands to their foreheads as a sign of respect. So I ask you, please send Mr. Long a photo or a video of you showing Peg Momino with the back of one of your older family member's hands against your forehead. Now, some of you did a really nice job with this. It was fun for me to receive these. Let's take a look at what was sent in as we learn more about Filipino-American culture. And here's what was sent in. Here's Kate Jansen, who did a little Google Doc and a uh, definition of Peg Momino. It's an honoring gesture used in Filipino culture performed as a sign of respect to elders or people older than you, and as a way of requesting a blessing from the elders. So you see Kate is putting the back of the hand of one of the people from her family on her forehead. Great job, Kate Jansen. I can always count on her to send something into the morning messages. There's Austin who actually is Filipino American. So he was celebrating that. He knew about this culture already. And we got a nice email from his family thanking us for including Filipino American Heritage Month. And there's Austin learning about his culture there and getting some wisdom from one of his family members by placing the back of the hand on the forehead. Great job, Austin. There's Lucas, who is also doing that. It looks like he's out on a, maybe a park somewhere, it looks like, uh, getting some knowledge from one of his older family members. Excellent job, Lucas. And there is Claire doing the same thing with a dog walking by right underneath. Super job, Claire. Always count on these people to send in their answers. We can always count on a few of these people. And we're getting a lot of new people participating in the morning messages, which I really enjoy too. If you're one of those people that always sends them in, thank you. Make sure you tell your friends about it, that they can send these in to the morning messages whenever they would like to. There's another one we can always count on. There's Nikhil, who is performing Peg Momino with one of his family members as well. So always fun, I think to learn about other cultures. And that's what Filipino American Heritage Month has allowed us to do. I did not know about Peg Momino, and now I do about how Filipino Americans like to do that and place the hand of an older family member on their forehead to gain knowledge and gain a blessing. So great job by all of our students and especially our students who celebrate Filipino American Heritage Month and showing us a little bit about their culture. So what is our new challenge going to be? Remember, I told you about this. This is the last morning messages of the week because there is no school on Friday. So look what I looked up. We have a few national days coming up here and look what we have coming up. So no morning messages until Monday. So national days coming up. Today is national chocolate covered pretzel day. That's right. Well, okay. Maybe you can do something with that. Friday is national moldy cheese day. Ugh, I wonder if you have some moldy cheese around your house. Check the fridge for that. Saturday is National Cake Decorating Day, and Sunday is National Sausage Pizza Day. I think I might have to celebrate that one. So you have all these national days to choose from for your challenge coming up in the next few days. You can send Mr. Long a picture or a video of you celebrating any of these special national days. So you've got Chocolate Covered Pretzel Day, you've got Moldy Cheese Day, you've got Cake Decorating Day, and you have sausage pizza day. Perhaps you want to send in more than one. Maybe we'll have some students that participate in all four of them. Be careful with the moldy cheese, though. Don't bite into that. No moldy cheese. Maybe you just found some in your house somewhere. But the chocolate pretzels and the cake decorating, the sausage pizza, you can send me videos or pictures of you enjoying those days. Always love to hear from you. Where do you send those pictures or videos? You know that by now. There's the email address right there. Long see at nclack.k12.or. Dot us Can't wait to see what you come up with. You've got a few extra days now. So we have all those different things. Chocolate covered pretzels, moldy cheese. I don't know how many we'll get for moldy cheese days. Maybe we'll get quite a few. Cake decorating day. And of course, sausage pizza day. Can't wait to hear from you on those. Okay, let's get to name that Scouters Mountain Elementary staff member. I thought I would stump a lot of you on this one, but I didn't. Classroom is on the first floor, which means by now we know that it is either kindergarten or first grade. Favorite fast food is Dairy Queen. Favorite hobby is dog training. That's a big hint right there. This teacher 
is a dog trainer. In fact, her favorite snack is fruit, and she has two Australian Shepherd dogs that she trains to do tricks and even enters them in shows. Who is that mystery staff member? Now, quite a few of you knew who it was, and you sent me in your answers on video. Let's get to some of those answers right now. Who's first up here? I think the mystery staff member is Miss Hatchel. Why? Just because I found it. A, a shepherd dog in their picture up at a meeting. Good job. Austin sent that in. He thought it was is Miss Hatchell. Let's see what else do we have. Who's next? I think the mystery teacher is Miss Hatchell because she has two yeah. dogs. Nicely done, Bennett McNeil, who sent that in. We have another guest here. Hi, Miss Long. Hi, Claire. Claire. And I know who is the mystery person. I it's Miss Hatchell because he got two Australian dogs. How do you guys know all of this? I always think I can stump you. And here's another one that was I sent think in. The teacher is Miss Hatchell. There's Hi. Nova who says it was Miss Hatchell as well. Well, were you guys correct? Let's get to those clues one more time. There they are, a classroom on the first floor. Dairy Queen's her favorite fast food. Her favorite hobby is dog training. Favorite snack is fruit. And the big hint was has two Australian Shepherd dogs that she trains to do tricks. Who was that mystery Scouters Mountain Elementary staff member? It was Miss Hatchell. I can't stump any of you. Nice job to all of you. Let's take a look at those two dogs. Here's Miss Hatchell here from a video. It looks like in her backyard, there's one of her Australian Shepherd dogs. And here comes the other one. There we go. So you guys knew that was Miss Hatchell. Excellent job. Who solved that mystery? Well, we had quite a few and you saw a lot of them on camera. We had Austin, Nikhil from fifth grade that solved that mystery. Bennett McNeil did, so did Claire Berman from fourth grade. Claire was on camera solving that mystery, so was Nova. We saw her just a moment ago. Kate Jansen solved it as well. So did Suri from fifth grade, and so did Connor Sopke from third grade. Great job. I thought maybe that was going to be a hard one, but a lot of you know about Miss Hatchell and her dogs as she trains and enters into shows. So super job. Now, is this one going to be challenging for you? Let's take a look at our new Mystery Scouters Mountain Elementary staff member. Who is this one going to be? All right, classroom is on the second floor. So we know by now that that has to be either second, third, fourth, or fifth grade. All right. Hmm. Favorite fast food is Chipotle. We've had several teachers that have mentioned that before. Favorite hobbies include volleyball and walking. Oh, I know this person has been a volleyball coach for a long time and played volleyball when she was younger. Favorite snack is berries. Okay. Here's your big hint, and this may give it away for some of you. Now, for our newer students, they may not know this. She's new this year, but she's not really new. She was a scouters teacher before, then last year was at a different job, and now she's back again, and we're so glad that she is back. So classroom on the second floor. She's technically new this year, but not really. She's been a scouters teacher before. Who is that mystery staff member? If you have a guess, make sure you send it in to me. There's where you send it, right there, Long C at inclac.com k12.or.us. I like how a lot of you did that today. You sent your submission in on video. That's a lot more fun if you can send in a video of you guessing who that mystery teacher is, or if you just want to email me the name, you can do that as well. We had about half and half last time, but you can always send me videos and any messages for sure at that email address. All right, time to wrap up today's show with, as we always do, the joke of the day and let's get to that joke of the day and today's joke comes from austin again he's the star of these morning messages and austin is asking why did the turkey cross the road hmm, why did the turkey cross the road let's let austin explain that joke for himself let me turn up the volume so you can hear him all right austin let's hear it why did the turkey cross the road hmm. to prove that he was not it's chicken. Ah, so the turkey crossed the road to prove that he wasn't a chicken. I got it. Okay, so why did the turkey cross the road? To prove he wasn't a chicken. Very good. That's a great joke, Austin. Thanks for sending in a video of you telling, telling it to me. If you have a joke of the day, you can either email it or send a video of you telling it to Mr. Long. I always love putting those on our morning messages, and it's always fun for me to receive emails from you. You can email it to right there at that email address, longc at nclac.k12.or.us.
chocolatecovered.us. Can't wait to hear from you. How are you going to celebrate chocolate covered pretzel day? How are you going to celebrate moldy cheese day and cake decorating day and sausage pizza day? All that coming up in the next few days. But now you just have to get through the rest of Wednesday. It is Wednesday, October 7th. I hope you have a great day today. Not as much live lessons today as our teachers are busy in training. I'll be with them during the day as well. Have a great day today. Celebrate those four special days coming up. And I can't wait to see you back here on the morning messages on Monday because remember, no school Friday. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.